So I saw an article that said Huey Fury could knock out Deontay Wilder. And this is what Huey Fury said. I'm thinking in my head, like, when is the last time Huey Fury... When's the last time he knocked out someone? When's the last time he has not gone the distance? Like, I want to know. Like, I just want to know when he's knocked out someone, like, who I can say was a worthy opponent. I just want to know because I don't know what Huey Fury's smoking. This guy, in my opinion, has no chance against Wilder. Wilder would just knock him to the shadow realm. He will send him to the Matrix. He will send him to the Matrix. He will send him to space. His head will fly off. Listen, Huey Fury, this is a warning to you. Whatever you do in your boxing career, stay away from Deontay Wilder. Stay away from the right hand. You can fight anyone. You can fight Anthony Joshua. I think you have a better chance of fighting Anthony Joshua than you do fighting a Deontay Wilder. Because one thing I know for sure, you're not going to knock him out. And he has 12 rounds to land one punch on you just to send you to Mars. He just has to land one punch. I don't know what you have in your arsenal that is a threat to Deontay Wilder. I don't know what you have in your arsenal. I mean, I'm not... I, I don't think Deontay Wilder... I think Deontay Wilder, after he knocked out Robert Hellenius, he could get in the ring with you and still whip you. That's what I think. I don't know. I think you should be fighting some prospects. You should be fighting Fabio Woodley. Fight Fraser Clark. Prove to yourself that you actually have the skill level to compete with the big boys. Because right now, there's nothing in your resume that tells me you can mix up with Wilder. I mean, yeah, it's heavyweight boxing. But I feel like for you to say you could stop Deontay Wilder, I feel like that's something you should just say to yourself. You don't have to go on interviews. You don't have to go on on, diff on different... Um, on different platforms and um you know just talking rubbish so you know behave yourself you know behave yourself you know that wasn't a sensible thing to say you, you, you lost to Povetkin and you're not fighting My Michael Hunter um like if you were going to knock out someone, it would have been Povetkin. And you didn't do that. So, it's like, what do you have that is a threat to Deontay Wilder? I mean, Deontay Wilder, maybe right now, he might be a bit chinny. He might be loose in the chin. But you have to land that. You have to land a punch worthy of making his legs stumble. And I don't see anything that you can present to him. Like... I think you should go down to cruiserweight. I think you can be a world champion at cruiserweight, but at heavyweight, you're just you're doing too much, man. You, I don't think you're you're built for heavyweight right now. I think you you're just forcing it. Like, go win a British title or something, bro. Like, respectfully, I feel like you for you to say that you can knock out the Ante Wilder is just disrespectful. It's like, man, just because you see your brother do it, don't mean you can do it, bro. Like, your brother, like, he really built like that. He's from that wolf. He, he has that kind of, like, he's, he's out of this world right now, man. I can't lie. As much as I don't like him ducking Alexander Uzik, I can say what I want, but he is a hell of a fighter. And when it's time to fight, Tyson Fury is game. Whenever you fight Tommy, um, Huey Fury, whenever you step in the ring, it's almost like you, it's almost like, you're not game. You're not hundred percent in it. You're like you, it's like you're ready to just go home, get your paycheck, and go to your your wife and kids. It's, it's like you're not game. You're not ready to do. You're not ready to get stuck in. 
you, you just want to tip tap and, and, and move around the ring like you're Tyson Fury. And it's like, bro, Tyson Fury don't just move. when it's time to when it's time to fight. Best believe Tyson Fury is gonna get stuck in. He's gonna grit down his gum shield. But I feel like if you maybe an op opponent like Deontay Wilder will actually get you to to fight because I feel like you play it safe, and that's why you don't win your fights because you don't want to you know take that risk to like to to really to really like secure that knockout. I feel like you want to play it safe. You want to just you you don't want to get you don't want you want to go swimming and you don't want to get wet. And that's why I don't think. You, with Deontay Wilder, Deontay Wilder is going to be willing to get wet because he, he's going to be willing to throw that right hand. And whenever Deontay Wilder throws that ha right hand, he understands I could miss and I could pay. But he still throws it anyway because he, he, he's willing to get wet because he knows that, you know, you can't go swimming without getting wet. And it's like, you you, you like jumping in the pool expecting to, 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 to come out dry. It's like, bro, go, go in there and... Bite your gum shield and get stuck in. Like, simple as. You know, I don't know why you're doing the tip tap thing like like you're some, you know, the slickest boxer in, on earth. Like, bro, you're not like that. Just go in there and have a go. Sometimes you need to have a go. You know what I mean? Anyway, I don't want to hear anything come out of this. this this Nink and Poop's mouth, man. I don't want to hear anything. You know. Go fight. Go fight a young bull. If you think you can fight... If you think you can knock out Deontay Wilder, go fight a young bull. Go fight David Adelaide. Go fight Fraser Clark. Fabio Woodley. Fight these undefeated... Fight an undefeated fighter. F fight someone who who's a young bull. Like, Joe Joyce had to fight Daniel Dubois. Why don't you go fight Daniel Dubois? You talking too much, bro. Man, you wanna fight those you wanna fight them washed up guys. You guys who are already washed up now. Derek Shazora, Dylan White. You wanna fight those guys, innit? Come on then. Stop joking. Be sure to like this video, comment and subscribe. JG out.